All right, so I just wanted to record this, um, have my last few uh, conversations here, and then, uh, you know, we'll get on with our lives. Okay, so pretty much what I'm doing here, um, I'm sure you guys have seen some videos I've released, um, and it's been, it's been months, months and months since I've been on camera for real, like making videos and releasing them the same day. I haven't done that in a very long time, but... I'm just letting you guys know, from the time you're seeing this video right now, right, you're not going to see me again for a year. Um, now, obviously, if I die, you won't ever see a video again. But <laughs> um, I'm saying that you won't see another video from me um, after this day. I am going to release this video and then you'll see a series of videos after this one that I've already pre-recorded. Um, because I'm making this decision of the day, I'm just going to go ahead and release those videos. Now, this is the reason I'm doing everything I'm doing. David, uh, David Goggins, you know, has always been a very inspirational person in my life. Um, and I have a lot of people that I uh, inspire, you know, just uh, keep me going. Beast Mo Jones, um, Cameron Paynes, you know, even Brittany G, you know, Greg Duchette bunch of people you know that I watch and um one of the biggest things that I've been wanting to really change in my life is just for once in my life I want to see what happens if I give full effort and as you can see I haven't you know I'm still big I've been making videos on YouTube for a very long time and I've been obese the entire time so I think it's just better for me to and listen here, uh, I want to say this, like, even though I'm going to be gone for a whole year, I will document my journey um, through weight loss and getting healthier and getting my mind right and everything. But that way it won't just be in the void. You'll never know what happened. Um, so I'll, 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 when the time comes, those videos, I'll put, a, I'll put together a whole documentary so you guys can see uh, kind of what I went through. And maybe I'll split it up or something. But I, sorry, excuse me. I am not going to live stream. <laughs> I'm not going to release any videos for a year from the time you're seeing this video. Um, now, that video, it may be a year Um. It may be more than a year if if I feel like I'm not where I need to be in a year and I'm still looking exactly like I do. No, I won't come back. Um, but if things have gone well, it may be it may be a year or two. I'm just saying there is at the bare minimum, it's got to be a year. Don't expect to see me again for a year. You know, and like I said, I don't have a big following. So this uh, this nobody probably really going to care. But I think this will be a good video for if I ever, you know, get back into YouTube like that and say I do succeed, you guys will be able to be able to see that I did take a year away from all of this to get it right. Because I think as I think one thing I've never done in my life and even here on this YouTube platform since I started it, I've never just taken a year away from social media because um, social media has been out since I've been young. Um, so. I've never taken a whole year and decided, you know what, I'm just going to disappear, meaning I'm going to disappear from social media. I'm going to quit talking about losing weight. I'm going to quit talking about being healthy and just do it um, and really change my life. Just one year. It's just one year, you know, and I think even when it comes to other stuff in life and I get it, you know, financially and stuff like that, um, I see it more finances. Uh, people don't want to take care of their credit or pay off a loan or do something like that because uh, people, they ha we all have this mindset. And I used to think it was just me, but since I've been talking to people in my life, it, it is a common mindset that we all think we're going to die within the next year. And that's okay. Um, if I die in the next year, guys, that's cool. Um, it suck, but you know, at the end of the day, I'm trying to get to a certain place. So if I die in a year, that's cool. Uh, but I can't be scared to take leaks because of that. It's just like people. I'm oh, sorry, my camera's messing up. 
We back. Okay. Uh, just listen to my voice. <laughs> um, but if it takes a whole year to get where we need to be, I'd rather come out of that year and be like, man, I made a lot of progress. I'm glad I took that year, two, three, or four, whatever it takes. And I separated myself and put myself in a better place instead of being scared to move. Because if a year from now, I'm still looking like I am, maybe even fatter than I am now. And it's all because I was like, man, I just went to go live my life and I ate however I wanted to. I did whatever I wanted to uh, because I was afraid I was going to die. I think it's a silly way to live. It's the same thing we all do with our debt. You know, we get seventy, fifty, seventy, eighty thousand dollars in debt because we kept pulling out loans. We kept doing that stuff because we wanted to live our best life because we were so afraid to die. And I think I get to that place all the time. Um, sorry about the clicking. Uh, so I just want to, for once in my life, just take a year and work on that fear, work on those things. And like I said, that's the bare minimum. It could be a year or two or three before you guys ever see me on camera again. Um, and like I said, I don't have a big following, so it doesn't really matter. But at the end of the day, I want to be able to look back if I do come back and be like, hey, I, I, I did the work. Now I could help you guys do the work. Um, because right now in my life, I don't really have any real skills or really any tangible experience I can really help you guys with anymore. I've, done, I've gone as far as I can with this shit. Um, I could talk to you guys all day about being fat and how much it sucks and all these other shit that I've been doing over these last seven years. And it doesn't help you guys because I haven't made any real change. Um, I just now started building my credit back up. Um, I've just now started getting out of debt and doing much better with that stuff. So all the shit I've been talking about up to this point really has been nothing. And so I just think I'll be a better even for the, the small audience I do have, I think I'll be much better for you guys if I do the work. Because right now, all I have is a theory. I mentioned in the beginning about Goggins. That's one thing he talked about a lot was having a theory. He did like a lot of the stuff he can talk about because he's actually been through these things. I have been talking to you guys theoretically like... I'm telling you, being fat sucks, but if you get the weight off, you can be great, and you can have a better self-image, and all this other stuff, or hey, you gotta start saving your money, and you can do all these stuff, and be much better with money if you, I ain't done that shit, um, so when I come back, if I come back, I wanna be able to help you guys financially, I wanna be able to help you guys with your health, and help you guys with your career. I'm in a career now, um, and we'll see where that takes me. But I, I, I have taken this as far as I can. I have nothing else to give you guys because I have not made any real progress um, at this point. First, When I first got on here, I was in college, out of college now. When I got on here, I was uh, my fiancé had just left me. And now I've been married for four years now. Um, when I got on here, I, was a, I wasn't a father. I'm a father now. Even though my son passed away, um, I was a father. Um, so I, I don't really have anything else to give. My life has gone forward. It's funny talking about this stuff since my first video, which was uh, about obesity. And I made no progress there. Um, to be, uh, you know, and I could, to be flat out honest that I can be now. Um, I probably, I, I haven't lost that much weight since that first video. I think in that video, I was 340 to 360. I think I'm still today, 340 to 360. I put on, I've gotten probably a little bit more muscular cause I've lifted a lot since then, but my fat percentage is probably still about the same or at least close. So you're talking about in seven years, I've not lost really a pound. Now, I did lose 100 pounds, at, 120 pounds at one point, but I put all that weight back on. So from that time I made that first video to now, I have made no progress, really. Um, and to be full, um, to get all this out there, when I first lost the weight, um, the 120 pounds, 
to be honest with you, the reason that happens because I was doing drugs and I went, I fell into a psychosis, which made me scared to eat. So I didn't eat. I was so afraid to eat that I was so afraid of having a heart attack that I just flat out didn't eat. Like anytime I ate, it gave me anxiety, like horrible panic attacks, anxiety. So I just quit eating. And that's not sustainable, obviously. And so I just put all the way back on, all on camera. And I kept telling you guys that I was doing well. And I just kept lying and I kept lying. And then, man, it just gets to you because you don't want to deal with it. You know, you want to help people so bad you start lying. And I don't want to be that guy. So I'm just going to stay gone. Like I said, for however long it takes. But the bare minimum, I don't care even if I lost. I, look, we're going to be absurd. If I lost 100 pounds in six months from now. I will not come back. The minimum is a year. I don't care. I am going to do. Um, I want to see if this shit is true. Once, uh, I'm going to stop saying Goggins, but just the last thing about him. He said, what if you just took a year, you know, to really do these things? And I want to do that. I don't want it to be theory. I don't want to talk about it. I'm not doing no 30-day challenge. Oh, guys, I worked out and ate healthy for 30 days. Here's my result. That's bullshit. You can't teach somebody something for fucking 30 days. That's not time. The reason some people are so um, able, to, the reason some people are successful, and I'll say this, um, and I'll start to shut up. The reason some people are so successful on YouTube or some people are so successful in their life outside of YouTube or outside of social media, the people you meet in their, your real life in corporate America, in the hospital or construction or a blue collar job, white collar jobs. You know what I mean? Uh, fitness trainers. The reason these guys can be successful even without social media, some with social media. But there's people who are successful who, who don't make videos at all. But they're still very successful people. The reason these people can be successful and the reason you're not is because these people have the experience of doing these things. They've gone through the failure. They've gone through heartbreaks and they've gone through all the problems that come with it. It's very rare that you meet somebody who never went through any hardships to get where they are and they have zero discipline. I, I have yet to meet that person. Me personally. Now, you may have. I haven't. I haven't met somebody who has zero discipline and has gone through nothing and they're already super successful because they just said... I'm going to go to work, work my nine to five. And they just got promoted just because they weren't even a great worker. They just got promoted because it is just because <laughs> I've just never seen that. Everybody I've seen who I know who is successful or normally very disciplined when it comes to their health, very disciplined when it comes to their work. Doesn't mean they don't have fun. They don't have a good time, but they know where to place these things. But the people I've met in my life, and I'll include myself in this, who decide, oh, I'm just going to have as much fun as possible. Fuck the discipline. That are failures. I'm a failure. <laughs> At this very moment of making this video, I'm broke, guys. Broke. I'm almost out of debt, but I still got a bunch of school loans, and I don't know when I'm gonna pay that shit off. Um, so I'm broke. Broke. Right now, I'm paycheck to paycheck, broke. And I'm fat, and I'm obese. I can't help you, motherfuckers. I can't. I wish I could, but I can't. And I'm tired of lying to myself. I'm tired of lying to you guys. The last video I actually made on this channel um, was the video I made on Etika. In that video, I believe I talked about this. That I'm a coward. You know, I, I disappeared from the camera because I was getting so fat. I disappeared. I quit putting myself on the vid in these videos. This is my first video that I've made on camera like this in a very long time. Like I said, the videos I'm going to release after this video, those are videos I made on a whim. You know, it's just random ass videos. But this is the first time I'm sitting in front of a camera making a video. And that this, I don't know how long it's been actually since that. But it's been a very long ass time. Um, and I... Still haven't made any progress. Since the last time I made a video, I still weigh about the same. So, I just think that no matter how much I try, if I try, it's because my head stays on social media. I always think about, I'll be back on YouTube here. I'll be back on YouTube there. 
if I I'm just to the place where I'm not thinking about uploading ever again until everything's good. But as of right now, I know at the minimum I won't make another video for a year. And that hurts, bro. I'm telling you, I miss making videos and reacting and stuff like that. But it's not helping me right now. I'd rather, I'm 33 years old right now. I'd rather at 35, 36 be able to make videos and actually help you motherfuckers. And instead, it's, instead of making videos for the next two to three years because I like it and I can't even help anybody. It's not helping me. I'm just a hypocrite. And I don't make videos. I don't want to make videos just for the sake of making videos, just because I like it. I need purpose in my life. And I want to make videos to actually help you guys because I've been through it and I just can't do that anymore. I don't want to be a reaction channel. I don't want to make commentary videos about stuff I don't even understand. I can't help you guys anymore. And I'm not, and me personally, I'm not an entertainer. I'm not going to be the fat guy on YouTube just entertaining you guys. <laughs> it's just not who I am. It's not what I want to do. Um, so it sucks a little bit because fuck you see the stuff behind me my my table uh all the suits back there all my collectibles this fucking stereo back here all these lights i have man i've probably spent two three thousand dollars on this setup you know and uh i'm nothing to show for it the only good thing is it was an investment. So when I do come back, if I come back, I need to keep saying that. If I come back, all this shit will be here. And it will be an easy, it will be easy to just turn on this camera and we're back in action. It'll be so easy. Obviously, hopefully I've updated my cameras. Uh, but it was fun. It's been fun. I hate getting emotional, but it's just true. Been a, it's been a quite a journey for these last seven years. Coming and going, you know. And it's sad to... um Over a thousand videos, and it's sad to let go. But who knows, man? Maybe this is to another thousand videos. Um, And I'll say this. There was a part of me that once wanted to... Make a bunch of videos and then come back in a few months and release all those videos and just be have all this stuff backlogged. But I think if I do that, um, react to all this shit I'm seeing on the internet and uh, commentate on them and then release them a year from now or whatever, I think I'm doing myself a disservice because my mindset won't be changed. I'll be the same guy I am now making those videos. Um, so. I'm going to try to stick with making videos as close as I can to the timeline. Doesn't mean I won't make videos in advance, but I don't, I'm not going to try to fool you guys um, and come back in a year or two or three and have a backlog of videos that I was really creating behind the scenes because then I would have lied to you guys. Um, like I said, the only thing I'll make videos on is my a documentary of the weight loss. I'm not going to work on any other type of videos. None of my commentary videos, no documentary style kind of videos, which had nothing to do with the weight loss. The only videos I will sit down and will be maybe a sit down like this where I'm just like updating you guys, um, which you won't see. But I'm just the only thing I'm going to work on is putting a documentary together just so you guys can see the journey. But you guys won't see that for at least a year or two from now. Um, and I'll try to get it as close as I can. So by the, I'm saying meaning when I release that video. It'll be like I made the last part of the video a week before I released the own thing. It won't be I released the documentary video and it's been months. You know, I'm, I'm going to try to keep it as close as I can. That way you can see the almost a week before you guys see me again. I'll release that documentary and then I'll probably come back a week after that. And then we can have a conversation and we'll go back to live streaming and all types of shit. But uh, I'm excited to see what my life looks like a year or two or three from now. And uh, 
the first time I've actually ever made a conscious decision to do this. It really sucks because I have all this. I have all this equipment in here ready to live stream, ready to make videos. And I, I have to just watch it collect dust for the most part. Um, but I think that's my the name of my channel is What Can I Change? And uh, I think this is the only way I can do it. I think this is the only way I can really show you guys what can I change. Um, so I think that's it. Um going to miss you guys. Uh, I don't know. A lot of you guys will have forgotten about me by the time I come back in. A lot of you guys have already forgotten about me. That's the beauty of social media. You can't step away and people will just forget you. You can go on with your life. Um, so I know this video won't mean much. But for me... It means something because it's something I can timestamp. Either this, so there's two things gonna happen, man. It's just, either I'll come back, or this is the last video I ever make on YouTube. And both of those are one's very happy, one's very sad. But like I said, I won't come back until it's all changed. And uh, bare minimum a year. At most, I'll never come back. So thank you for all the great years. Maybe I'll see you soon. Goodbye.